All right, our first comedian is a regular here. He's been around the Manhattan circuit. Give some love for Jeff Simon! One of the top divorce attorneys in, um, in New York City. In fact, I got divorced so many times I get a 10% discount every time I get divorced. How's everybody doing tonight? Great. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm a Jew from New York. I grew up in the 50s. Uh, my favorite Jew in the Yankees was the general manager. Uh, the Yankees were the most anti Semitic organization in sports. Uh, the only reason they had a Jewish GM was because he would. Jew down the players during salary negotiations. This guy was such a cheap fuck. Uh, he made uh, Mickey Mantle take a pay cut the year after he won the MVP. Really? Yeah, really. Cheap fuck. Uh, don't ever sell a TV set to a Jew. Uh, I, I had to sell this high def TV set because uh, I was moving and it was like five years old, but I only watched it like six times. I told this guy, give me, uh, I told this Jew, give me $400 for it. He jewed me down to $25. Can you exactly. believe this shit? Can you believe this fucking shit? Uh, I was really pissed off at myself. I, I could have sold it to uh, a Christian or a black guy for 200 but I was just too lazy. Uh, <laughs> nice. uh, I divorced my last wife 12 years ago. I would have got divorced a lot sooner, but my father-in-law told me if I ever divorced his daughter, I'd do dog food. <laughs> I had to wait for this motherfucker to die. Uh, I, uh, right before they pulled the plug on his uh, on his respirator, I, I asked him uh, if he was serious about that dog food line, and uh, I couldn't make out what he was saying. It was just that just, he was just making that gurgling sound that people make on respirators. I couldn't make out what the fuck he was saying. <laughs> You move up front here now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I tell you, the, 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 best, the best time to be a woman is when her husband dies. Um, that's why I, I like to, I like to be in the ICU when they pull a pull, pull a plug on a guy's respirator. If I can't make it to the ICU, I'll, I'll, I'll be at the funeral. You know, when everybody's walking back to the car. The only problem is you got to put up with, put up with these cock blocking kids who are clinging to the mommy, saying stupid shit like. Uh, you're not going to start dating right away, are you, Mommy? <laughs> These kids are unbelievable. Uh, I know this woman, she's really nice. Uh, she's got more baggage than the Delta Carousel at Newark Airport on an arriving flight from Mexico. Uh, you cannot have a relationship with a woman with this much baggage, you know? Because you never, uh, you never get to have sex and you never get to meet anybody in her family. You know, I don't care if I meet her mother in a nursing home, or her father with Parkinson's, but we'd like to meet her daughter, who just got divorced. She's really hot looking. I got a picture of my cell phone. She's my go-to chick whenever I jerk off now. <laughs> um, I just had a date with a woman I met on Match.com who lied about her age. Uh, she, was, she was supposed to be 50. She was in her 80s. I, I couldn't get her wheelchair on my car. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't get it to fold up. Uh, she gave me the worst blowjob I've ever gotten in my life. And uh, she wanted to know if I was going to take a ride again. I said, uh, we'll have to take Accessor Ride. You know, because I, I can't spend two hours getting your uh, chair in my car, you know? Um, I clicked on this woman's profile on Match. Uh, her, uh, her body type is, I'll tell you later. I mean, what are you going to tell me? If they're buying a hundred dollars steak at Del Frisco's? No, what are you going to tell me? She smokes a pack a day, and she doesn't touch a drop of alcohol. Which is called for I'm an alcoholic. You know? <laughs> uh, I was watching Fox News last night, The Hannity Show. Anybody watch that? No. What are you afraid to raise your hand? <laughs> uh, a lot of closet Republicans here can't raise their hand. But they finally had a, a Hannity had one of these guests that made these Tea Party Republicans that made sense, you know? Like it was for uh, tax cuts for billionaires. Like that's their big thing. But he ha he actually showed a way. That the government could pay for this, you know, raise the minimum age of Social Security to 95, close all the VA hospitals, and end food stamps. You know, and he came up with, you know, you see, showed away. You know, uh, Hillary is getting ready to run in 2016. I'm voting for her. Yeah, buddy. Uh, she got her hair cut. Uh, she's lost weight. She's, I think she got her ass suction. 
<laughs> if I was drunk and it was four in the morning, I would, I would definitely fuck her. I wouldn't waste a Viagra on her, you know. About they they cost like thirty bucks, and she's she's you know, I don't fuck her with a soft dick, you know. <laughs> uh, but uh, in order for her to seal a deal, she's got to pick up a popular black running mate. I'd like to see somebody a little more animated than Obama, you know. Someone like Stephen A. Smith from Sports Center. You ever seen ESPN? I think he'd be good. Or even or uh, or like Stephen Harvey, a popular game show host from uh, Family Feud. He's taking that show from from the bottom all the way to second in the afternoon radio behind Judge Judy. You know, I, I think he'd do a great job as vice president. You know, uh, how can that, how can every cop and fireman in New York City is like gigantic? Can anybody tell me one? It's, I, it's not from get, uh, weights. It's not from lifting weights. They were on steroids. Cops and firemen are on steroids. Like I, I got pulled over by this guy the other day uh, for making a legal turn, and uh, this guy's head this guy's head was three times bigger than it should have been. His eyeballs were popping out of his head. And he goes, give me your license and registration, motherfucker. I said, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know, God, the guy was like, uh, I think I lost this whole fucking crowd here. But anyway, so uh, I, I go to court to fight the ticket, and uh, this liberal judge, I knew I knew it was bad news when this liberal judge was letting all the black guys go. Uh, this guy before me was doing 100 miles an hour in the school zone uh, because he was late for a meeting with his crack dealer, and he was wearing one of these Puck the Foley's t-shirts. You ever see them? Puck the Foley's? And uh, so I, I get up there next. I'm wearing a tie. And I'm showing the judge respect. I said, uh, you know, I called him your honor, and I told him that some bus cut me off, and I had to make a you know a legal turn. And he says, you, he says guilty. Uh, you're lucky I don't throw you in jail for the night. And uh, he said, go pay the clerk. You know. Is this mic working? <laughs> Pop the police. <laughs> I, tell you, I was smoking a joint outside this bar the other night, and uh, I must have sm uh, smelled like weed when I got inside because this guy, who uh, his girlfriend looked like a Fox News Channel anchor, and he had a copy of the Second Amendment in his back pocket, uh, says, says to me, he stared at me, he says to me, I smell marijuana. It's a typical asshole Republican, you know? Typical asshole fucking Republican. Uh, I said to this guy, I got two words for you, motherfucker. Government regulation. <laughs> That's the worst thing you could say to a Republican. You know? It's worse than telling him to go fuck himself. But uh, I, I just bought this unbelievable weed. Uh, it's 500 an ounce. This stuff, stuff gets you really high, uh, but the, it doesn't fuck you up. Anybody smoke weed here? Yeah. All right, all right. It doesn't, it doesn't fuck you up. It, it doesn't fuck you up. I mean, you could drive your car without getting lost. You could get money out of an ATM on a first try. And it stuff makes you horny. I, I was on a Garden State uh, yesterday, and I had to pull over on the shoulder to jerk off. It was so embarrassing getting a ticket for jerking off while your grandkids are in the backseat. <laughs> and, uh, but it's so expensive, I only smoke it for special occasions. You know, like weddings, weddings, bar mitzvahs, and when I'm banging a hooker. Mm. Uh, I'm a pharmacist, I work for Rite Aid. A uh, customer comes in uh, the other day and says, what's the best thing for rectal itch? I go like this. <laughs> and uh, he goes, what the fuck is that? I go, it's your finger, it's the best thing for rectal itch. And it turns out this guy is the mystery shopper. He's a mystery. <laughs> Gives me a zero on a mystery shop. And my boss, who's a gay Jew, comes in the next day to fire me. He's another pharmacist with him. And I said to this guy, you could suck my dick. You could suck my guy. I'm not getting fired because uh, somebody, uh, this mystery shop, doesn't have a sense of humor. He says, okay, if you let me suck your cock, uh, uh, you can keep your job. No homo. I mean, uh, I get two years to go for, to Medicare and Social Security. I can't lose my job, you know? And then uh, the next day, he calls me up and he says, uh, somebody called 1 800 Rite Aid on you to make a customer complaint because you yelled at some lady. So he says, I'll be over in a few minutes to us, uh, you know, to suck your cock. I mean, what am I supposed to do? This guy, uh, 
you know, I can't be put out health insurance. You know, um, but we have we have this uh, this blood pressure machine in the pharmacy in a waiting area, and these people uh, take their blood pressure and they want me to comment on the reading. You know, so they'll go like, 120 over 80. And I go, awesome. 110 over 70. What do you want to live forever? Uh, 250 over 230. I have a better chance of getting an HBO special than you have of being alive at this time tomorrow. <laughs> I tell you, every gay guy in Manhattan was in Bright Aid yesterday. We had a sale on bounty paper towels, 15 rolls for $7.99. Any gay guys here? Come on, raise your hand. What do you guys have? Stock and bounty? What the fuck? What is going? How many fucking rolls do you need at one time? To clean up your mess, you know? I mean, come on, you know? All right, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm about done here. So I'm gonna give you back to the great Scotty. All right, let me get some energy to this place. Come on, we got a small crowd. Let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah.